So why are Ubuntu snaps good? Advantages of snaps. Let's talk about them. So cross distro compatibility. This, this is a terrific thing. A lot of what went into the ideas behind snaps are, uh, there, there's a lot of good things. Now there are, are alternatives out there like flat packs or just sticking with your native packages and hoping your distro has the package, which it probably does. But yeah, cross distro compatibility. This is like a noble goal and I'm all for this, right? So, you know, if you can, all you have to do is install SnapD on whichever system you're using and then you can go ahead and just install packages from the centralized snap store on on that system the same package you would install on ubuntu you could install on like arch debian or fedora pretty terrific um great idea um there's controversy behind it but i actually did another video i just uh did another video about why snaps are bad you might want to check that one out and i did another video about what snaps are so this is my third snap video anyways sandbox security that i mean it's not real security but it, it helps and um it's, it's a great thing to have. So uh, an application won't necessarily mess with your system. It's kept separate. It's it's good on principle. It's not a bad thing. It's a, it's a, it's a great progressive, uh, it's the right direction to go, so long as you can execute it right. Now, automatic updates in the background. Now, you may not always want automatic updates in the background. Could be frustrating, but the fact that things just get updated magically is is generally a terrific thing, and it's great that they're able to do that. I, I think that's that's a huge advantage. Now, rollbacks. So um, you can roll has rollback support if an update breaks. So if something breaks when you're doing an update, you can roll back to a previous version. You can actually have multiple versions installed at the same time. Right here, multiple versions of an app can coexist. You can install multiple versions, roll back from one version or another, um, and they can all be in parallel. You can't do that with a regular package. With a regular package manager, you need a specific version. It has to match the other packages on your system. Um, not a lot of flexibility with that, with uh, traditional package managers. With with snaps, you do have all that flexibility because each version is going to have all its dependencies packaged with it. So, you know, you could move to another version. You don't have to worry about that whole mess of dependencies changing. All those other things are just you know, pulled in with each version has the appropriate dependencies pulled in with it. It's amazing. This is actually terrific. This is a, I think that's a huge step forward. Now, is it worth it to run to, to, uh, is this worth it to run snaps given their disadvantages? That's another story. Um, you could decide, but ultimately this is a terrific capability. Um, also something that's in flat packs if you, if you want an alternative, but, I, I think this is terrific. This gives you tons of flexibility. This is like the way things should be, especially in, you know, I'm recording this in 2025. We should be able to do stuff like this, right? Now, installing software on systems with varying package managers, right? So as we said, you know, you may, may have uh, Debian or Ubuntu with the apt package manager, Arch with uh, Pac-Man or Fedora with DNF, whatever they have as a native package manager. You can just install SnapD and install the same Snap packages on each one of these, however you feel like. Terrific, terrific ability to have there, right? Now, you can run newer versions of an app on older distributions. So you don't even have to care if your distribution is a little bit older. You can still run the newer version of it if you're using snaps. <clears throat> so you might decide you want to use something more stable like uh, Debian or, or, or something that's not updated as frequently. And uh, you don't have to. You can stick with something up that updates slowly and is a stable system. And then that one application you actually care about having the latest, greatest cutting edge stuff, install the newest version of that using the Snap Store. That's an amazing capability. So snaps are misunderstood and they deserve a lot more credit than they get. Of course, you know, there are other people solving these same issues or, or other products solving these same issues like Flatpak. So there, there are other things out there, but still it's great what they're doing with them, right? Snap, I think snaps are terrific and, and they just, they're just misunderstood. And, um, I, I, I don't think they're fairly, they still legit reasons why people complain about them though. Anyways. Patch, packaging complex applications with many dependencies like IDEs and browsers. So it's great for that. Now, there, there is, um, you might say that it could be a bad idea to put a GUI application in a snap due to startup times and, you know, integration with, with system themes and stuff like that. But if you can get over those hurdles and make it work well enough, 
that's not that big of a deal. And you can, you can, uh, you know, throw complex applications like this together in a self-contained package. That, that's pretty good. I, I would say now the centralized store, the, this is probably, you know, it's, uh, probably one of the things people hate the most about it. Um, you know, that it's con proprietary and controlled by, uh, canonical, but the centralized store is one of its greatest advantages as well. You have this centralized store where everything's all in there, packages in this one centralized place. And regardless of what, what, uh, distro you're on, you can still connect to this one centralized store that has all, you know, all the same stuff, regardless of where you are. And it's all managed and maintained in this one central place where you just have all your stuff there, which is pretty great. Any case. If you found this informative or you feel like you understand snaps a little bit more, you might want to give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on our other great videos. We do a lot of other great tech stuff. We've been doing a lot of Linux stuff. This is a really Linux oriented channel, but we're not only about Linux. We do like, uh, Apple stuff. We do, uh, you know, window, we, we, we do do Windows stuff at, I guess apparently some of my audience does not like it when I do Windows videos, but we're still doing Windows and Apple stuff. And uh, we're doing a lot of electronics, robots, Raspberry Pis, uh, 3D printing. I really got to get some more 3D printing stuff in here, but we're going to be putting out a lot more of this content, a lot of, a lot more Linux, a lot more of all of this stuff, right? Networking, all sorts of great stuff. So stay tuned for that. Don't miss out. Make sure you're subscribed. If you didn't hit the bell icon. And if you disagree with anything I've said about snaps, or maybe I missed something or I got something wrong, you know, make sure you leave a comment down below letting me know because I, I want to know and um yeah but that's about it for today so hopefully you enjoyed this video but that's it for so thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video